New Zealand, part four. The original settlers of New Zealand quickly exploited the abundant large game in uh, such as moa, which were nine species of flightless birds endemic to New Zealand. The two largest species, Dinorus robustus and Dinorus novislandae, reached about 3.6 metres, 12 feet in height, with neck outstretched, and weighed about 230 kilograms, or 510 pounds. Cooking instructions were, bake on Regulo 5 for eight weeks, serve 36. The smallest species, Shortus arceus, was eight centimetres square, just right for sandwiches. It is estimated that when Polynesians settled New Zealand, the moa population was about 58,000. 128 years later, it was zero. Always good when man comes a-calling. Huh? The first Europeans definitely known to reach New Zealand were the crew of Dutch explorer and flatulence physicist Abel Tasman, who arrived in his ships Heemskirk and Zeeheim in December 1642. Oh fuck, said the Maori. Now you know how we felt said the last remaining mower. Tasman anchored at the northern end of the South Island in Golden Bay. He named it Murderer's Bay, which should have given some indication of how things were going to go. And he sailed northward to Tonga following an attack by local Maori. Strange day, he wrote in his diary, have been attacked by several large fish, birds, and sea mammals, and a tree which kept yelling at one of the fish, kill me a new outfit, you mean bastard. I just got to do an interjection here. A lot of these won't mean anything to you unless you've seen the preceding video, okay? Um, so all these videos are numbered, so you'd have to follow them on. Tasman sketch sections of the two main islands west coasts. I said, draw me a picture of two waistcoats snapped midshipman Surly upon seeing them. Tasman called them Stattenland, after the general, States General of the Netherlands, and that name appeared on the first maps of the country, along with a hitherto unknown island of Teestainland, after a cartographer took all he saw on Tasman's plans far too literally. All things considered, it is lucky people aren't still looking for the lost continent of Manjanland. In 1645, Dutch cartographers changed the name to Nova Zealandia in Latin because they were paid by the letter. Unfortunately, most sailors still sailed in non-Latin and crashed into every piece of rock in the Pacific. 